for the Rotunda Guild as the Voice of Liberty will sing.
and has a special connection to our rediscovering today in that the lyrics to this song are included in Kinsey Collection artifacts you will view inside. And the song has many verses you probably didn't know. Before we continue, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm one of the 2013 Walt Disney World Ambassadors, Rich Smile, and I'll be acting as your MC this morning. And now, to welcome you, here is Senior Vice President of the Walt Disney World Parks, Jim McPhee. Well, thank you, Rich, and good morning, everyone. Is this an exciting day or what? Yes. yes. We have been looking forward to this morning for quite some time. It's beautiful outside, and it's even more beautiful inside. On behalf of 66,000 cast members that work here at Walt Disney World, welcome. Welcome to the grand opening of Rediscovering America, Family Treasures from the Kinsey Collection. We're so excited that you are here. We're thrilled to welcome this outstanding collection to Epcot, which is a park that celebrates diversity and cultures around the world and right here at home. Just over 30 years ago, on October 1st, 1982, we opened the doors to Epcot. Since that time, 30 years later, hundreds of millions of guests have walked through Future World and World Showcase. On that opening day, a dedication statement was read, and I'll share that with you now. To all who come to this place of joy, hope, and friendship, welcome. Epcot is inspired by Walt Disney's creative vision. Here, human achievements are celebrated through imagination, wonders of enterprise, and concepts of a future that promises new and exciting benefits for all. May Epcot Center entertain, inform, and inspire, and above all, may it instill a new sense of belief and pride in man's ability to shape a world that offers hope to people everywhere in the world. And I think you'll agree with me this morning that the Kinsey exhibit inside the American Heritage Gallery showcasing 40 pieces of art and artifacts that represent more than 400 years of African American achievement and contribution bring that to life. And we're so excited about that happening in our opening this morning. Both Epcot and the Kinsey Collection welcome all those who are curious about people, places, and progress of the real world. Both inspire us to discover and appreciate things that are new to us. And certainly, both Epcot and the Kinsey exhibit celebrate human creativity, innovation, and achievement, offering hope for a better world. This morning, later today, and earlier this morning, I had the opportunity to spend time just taking in all of the incredible arts and artifacts that are brought to life through the Kinsey Collection. And one of the pieces that you'll see that I really caught my eye was that from Benjamin Banneker, his first almanac from 1792. After 59 years as a farmer, Benjamin began studying the stars and taught himself astronomy and advanced math. He learned enough on his own to predict future solar and lunar eclipses, and he shares his knowledge through annual almanacs. For years, pieces like Benjamin's almanacs have caused guests who visit the Kinsey Collection to stop and ask themselves questions. And I know when I walked in there this morning, I asked myself the same. Do I have the same ambition and resolve to accomplish such significant achievements? Could I be this courageous in the face of death? What could I do to make a difference? Every day, guests walk into Epcot, and they're entertained, informed, and inspired just as our founder, Walt Disney, envisioned. Beginning today, as our guests visit the American Adventure and the Kinsey Collection, I am confident that they will walk away with an understanding of and appreciation for African American history and culture. First, I'd like to say thank you to the Kinsey family for being here this morning, for having the vision to bring all this to life, and to Carmen Smith from the Walt Disney Company, who worked so hard to bring this to life as well. This is your creation. And again, I welcome you to Epcot, to Walt Disney World, and this incredible grand opening. Now, it's my great pleasure to introduce two very special guests to you. You may know them best as Dr. Miranda Bailey and Dr. Richard Weber on ABC Television's Grey's Anatomy. Please join me in welcoming Chandra Wilson and James Pickett Jr. Thank you. James Brown on that. Get a little 
song. <laughs> Yeah, I, I remember lending my voice to 
a, a um, it was a science project back in my hometown in Cleveland, Ohio, and I was the universe. And I thought that was so cool. I was the universe. I was the universe. Hey, that was cool. I was the universe. You know? And I, I could talk down. I was sending down, shooting stars, and the whole nine numbers. It was great. But without giving too much away, we understand that our voices are coming from lanterns, okay, and uh, that throw light onto the subject at hand. So I can't wait to see which lantern my voice is on. We don't know. All right, but. Uh, we hope that you enjoy this family treasure from the Kinsey Collection. I can't wait to see it. My wife can't wait to see it. So please, thank you for having us. Let's enjoy this morning. Thank you. Once again. One more big round of applause for our special guest. Now I think it's time to hear from the Kinsey family themselves. So please join me in welcoming to the stage Bernard and Shirley Kinsey and their son, Khalil Kinsey, who is general manager of Operation Elizabeth's for Kinsey Collection. Brought us 
to this gallery back four or five years ago. Al Braswell, who's the president of the LA Urban, I mean the Orlando Urban League. Um, Trish Cerrone, who's right here, who has been like our right and left hand in terms of knowing this story. And she will tell you, when you understand African American history from an African American standpoint, it changes you fundamentally in terms of who you are and where you come from. Because all of us have these holes in our hearts. And the hole that we're missing is we don't know who we are and where we came from. And what we're saying is, when you integrate this information into your lives, you're different. Not a black thing, or a white thing, or a Latin thing, or an Asian thing. You're different. Because the African American story is the story of America. And we've been a part of everything that has happened in this country, from Patagonia all the way to Canada. All of them. And the Kinsey family is simply trying to do this, to make the comment that we were there. We were there and we mattered. You get me? We were there. And Beza Butler, who is right here, Beza Butler wrote us a letter when we were at the Smithsonian a few years ago, and she said, I lost my mother, and there was nothing there to tell me that she was present. When I brought my two kids to see the Kinsey Collection at the Smithsonian, and they saw my piece there, she said, for the first time, I could say to them that I was there. That's how important this is, and we all have it. So what we're trying to do, and we cannot thank Walt Disney World Resorts for agreeing and seeing this vision of this story, because this story has not been told because America hasn't been afraid to tell it. And we think we're the right couple, the right family to tell it. Because we represent everything that America says it's about. Hard work, saving, loving each other, family, friends, giving back. All of those attributes are what makes America great. So we applaud Disney for believing in the Kinsey family, the Kinsey story. And we believe that that story is going to open up tremendous opportunities to tell more of the stories of the achievement of African Americans in this country. None of that was in my notes. Okay, so. <laughs> so, let me go back. Eric Jacobson, Bruce Bond, Pat Patrick, Patrick Brennan. Stand up, let Patrick see you. I mean, everybody see you right here. Patrick has been instrumental in all kinds of aspects of this to keep moving this this far. Peter McGrath is another one of the Disney executives that had a lot to do with. Anthony Sparks, where are you? Anthony wrote well, everything you see in the iPad. This young man, PhD out of USC, he wrote. It. Okay. And the young lady I met yesterday in the gallery who is responsible for 66,000 employees at this park is Aaron Young. Aaron, I want you to stand up and let everybody see you. And we will say this to you, that we turn over these treasures to your good, good hands and safety. Okay? All right. Now, the lady that has been with us from the beginning who has the persistence, the patience, the tenacity to drive this is Carmen Smith. She has been unbelievable in terms of working the process through this visit family. Please stand and let everybody see you. Son Sean to stand up right here in the back. I want my son Sean right here. Uh, my brother Brad Shaw Kinsey, stand up, Brad, let everybody see you. Cassandra uh, Kinsey, my sister over here, she's really my younger sister. Okay. And my other sister, Linda Kinsey, right here. And all to 
all of our cousins, nieces, nephews from Tampa, from Jacksonville, from all over. We love you. Uh, we want you to leave today with just one objective. And when you leave the Kinsey Collection, there are going to be maybe 40 million people that come through this park and have an opportunity to see this collection over the next three years. 40 million people. It's just, you know, I mean, it makes the Smithsonian look like child's play. You know? <laughs> we want people to leave with one thought, that I didn't know that. If you can leave with that, we've accomplished everything the Kenton family is trying to do. Thank you. Check out and see what color shoes he had on. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Today is a day filled with much, much gratitude. Gratitude that you're all here to share in this magical experience that you're about to have when you walk through those doors. Disney is clearly a place where magic happens. It's a place where dreams come true, even if you don't know you have that dream. And we didn't know that we had that dream when we started this because we didn't start out to have a collection that will wind up one day at Disney. I think about the athletes who, when they ask, well, where are you going? You know, after that championship game or whatever, and they say they're going to Disney. Rosalie, Diane, Bonnie, we can actually say, we're going to Disney. <laughs> Many of you in this room have been on this journey with us from the beginning, before we ever, ever had a collection, when we first started out. Bernard just mentioned his family, and I'm going to mention a few members of my family very quickly here. I've got uh, a sister in the room who's sitting at a table over there. We can stand up, Wanda. You're representing all of the siblings, and she just walked out at me. <laughs> okay, we'll get back to her later. My sister cousins are in the room. Um, over here somewhere, I've got Angie and Gwen and Linda. You all work uh, we have a room, Bernard, I will have a room full of favorite nieces and nephews in the room. You all know who you are, so the favorite nieces and nephews stand wherever you are in the room. Great. Uh, I, have a, I, I, I have a few sister friends who've been with me since grade school, and a brother friend, I should say, and that's Rosalie, Diane, and Barney. Please stand. I'm so grateful. This, this is my support system, but besides Bernard and Khalil, they're the ones that keep me booted up. And this is great to have you here this morning be able to share this with you. Mama is looking down this morning on us, along with Bernard's mom and dad. That's Susie Plummer-Kula and Christine and UB Kinsey. And they're saying, you know, kids, the two kids from Florida who left here, as you say, with $26 in the job, You've come full circle because you've been able to come back home. Yeah. And you've been able to come back home in such a way. Just another minute. Um, all the people I've named so far have been a part of our lives from the very beginning and all phases of our lives. We have a family of families present in the room, too. Would you please stand? Or wave your hands. <laughs> We have a Xerox family in the house. From our career day, this is Xerox. They come out there with California people. We have a lot of extended family in the house. We have a lot of adopted nieces and nephews in the house. Where are you? <laughs> and we have an art family in the house. I know there are a few people here from uh, galleries and museums. And we have two of the artists in the collection that you're going to see. Their pieces are very special to us, and I know that once you see them, they'll become very special to you, too. Michael Chooks, would you please stand? And his piece of art is in his Thank you all so very much, Bernard. I mentioned that hole in your heart that we all had. We hope that we're going to help you fill it up. We hope for the young people in the room, and actually, the older people in the room, too, start doing your own narrative. Start interviewing your ancestors. I'm saying ancestors, but your grandparents, your elders at your church. Use that technology. Record that history because that's your history. That's living history. And as we're trying to preserve our history for our future, we need to understand that the history that's alive now, we need to capture on film, on paper, any way we can. So get those stories told. 
Thank you so very much for being here. passion, your understanding of what this is all about, your vision, and your persistence really got this done. Thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. I'm, I won't take up too much time. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I, I thought that I was joking because I, I said when we walked in, you're going to see my mom cry and all that, but this is, a, this is huge. Um, just proud. I'm proud of you, too. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of the partnership that we have with Disney. This is what partnership looks like. This is what happens when people share a vision and want to change things. And I want to thank everybody. I want to thank everyone at Disney, everyone that we, that we worked with for the last four years. I want to thank everybody, all of our family, for being here, for the support, for all of this time. I want to thank my girlfriend, Lisa, for just supporting me through everything and, 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 and so really helping push me into embracing this fully, you know, four or five years ago. Best decision I, uh, I've ever made in my life, and it's just an amazing thing to be able to work with my family every day. Amazing in a lot of ways. Um, this is just incredibly special. So thank you, everybody. Thanks to my lifelong friends over here for, for flying from all over the country. And I love you all. Thank you. So next to my girl is my little cousin Noah, one of my favorite people in the world. And I'm real quick, Noah. So, so, so this, this is what it's about. This is what it's about. Disney embracing, see I'm getting my composure back. <laughs> Disney embracing this and being at the forefront of something like this, you're going to be amazed at the changes you start to see. Because there's no better time in America to have this conversation. We have a black president. We are starting to see things differently. And this time, it's time that we all start to have a certain type of dialogue, an accurate dialogue, about race in America, so we can get past it. We can see eye to eye, we can respect each other, we can respect everyone's contributions to building this country and what everybody brings to this table, all cultures. And then we can see eye to eye and we can move on. But it's not until we do that. And Disney, I am so proud of, of, you, of everyone at Disney for taking that leap. Because you will be, you are at the forefront of this and you will be part of what is changing the world and changing America. So thank you. I want to say thank you so much for sharing your passion, your story, and clearly your family and friends here with us. So thank you, thank you very much. Just very touched. I'm, I'm overwhelmed now myself. I'm just covering what's the next. Um, and hearing them speak, I don't know about you, but I could do it all day long. Uh, but uh, before before we open the doors to the gallery, we have one last speaker who personifies that commitment that the Kinsey family just spoke about. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the visionary. And the driving force behind this project, Vice President, Walt Disney Imagineering, Creative Development, and Inclusive Strategies, Carmen Smith.
One of the things I think that held me uh, with this project is the first time I walked into the Kinsey's home. Actually, I told the story a few weeks ago, but I think even before I got to the door, I could feel something. I could feel something special, that there was a light and energy sort of emanating from their home. And when they opened up the door, it kind of hit me full force. Their stories, their love, their passion, their grace. And it was like walking into history when I walked through their doors. Everything spoke to me. But more importantly, the Kinseys, Bernard, Shirley, Khalil. I've never met storytellers like that. And they made me realize how much I didn't know. But they made me want to know so much more. And as you know, the Walt Disney Company, for 90 years we've been telling stories. And I am so glad that we have added to our family of storytellers, Bernard, Shirley, and Khalil. As Bernard mentioned earlier, I came across this collection through a dear friend and colleague, Bob Billingsley. And when he said to me, you have to go see this collection, I was a little hesitant, because you know, a lot of executives, you have thousands of meetings and you gotta make time. But he was persistent. And I'm so glad I listened. And because I listened to him, you all are gonna see this incredible story. So thank you again, Bob. The Kinsey Collection that you're gonna see shortly is a remarkable journey of so many voices of men and women that overcame incredible obstacles. But what they share is what the Kinseys believe, and that is courage, hope, imagination, heritage, imagination, I'm missing one. Which one? <laughs> Belief. <laughs> You're gonna see it all. And I'm um, actually totally off script now. So, I just want to close by saying that we are all so fortunate that the Walt Disney Company and its leadership has a vision and a passion to bring stories to life. This would not be possible without so many people here. And I, I want to give a special acknowledgement to Trish Sarone, who has been my partner on this journey. The magic that you experience in there was her vision, and she's just an incredible person. So this is an exhibit that lets everyone know that we're all part of the same story. It's not black, it's not white, it's everyone's story. And it's for all of us to enjoy. And again, I want to thank the Kinseys for just being who you are. Loving, incredible, courageous, you made a difference in the world. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much, Carmen. Could you one more round of applause? Now it's time to open Rediscovering America: Family Treasures from the Kinsey Collection. To help us in this important task. We are pleased to have members of Orlando's own Jones High School Master Singers under the direction of Andre H. Green, who is an alumnus of Florida a and University, as are the Kinsey's. Please give a warm welcome to the Jones High School Master Singers.
Thank you so much.